Oh fuck, do I have to voice Iris? Oh fuck. I'm sorry, I was sipping my drink. <clears throat> Excuse me, Mr. Edgeworth? I'm not really sure what to say. Iris, we only have 20 minutes. Oh, there okay, are... I'll make a question. There are two things which I need to ask you before we reconvene. Alright. I'll help you any way I can. First, about that night, you really didn't go to the Inner Temple, correct? No! Oh my god! The last witness claims to have met and talked with you in the training hall. Either you or Sister Bikini is lying. She's a dirty little liar. I mean, Mr. Edgeworth. It is just as I said yesterday. Until the incident occurred, I was in my own room in Hazakura Temple. Very well. The second thing then. That night, the temple snowmobile was used in between the time Sister Bikini returned to the main hall and when she bore witness to the murder. Sometime between 10.30 and 11pm that night. Were you the one who used the snowmobile? Mm hmm. There's only one key for the snowmobile. The only person who could have used it was me. Well, that's not really fun. So it was you! No, I didn't say that. Why? What made you go out to Dusky Bridge? The dumb fucking letter. I'm sorry, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh I'm... my god! Iris! Iris! I, I can't. I, I can't tell you about that yet. Oh my fucking god, Iris. Iris. Listen, I, I'm trying my hardest right now, okay? Yet? Excuse Is this. What do you think this is? Some kind of fucking show? Is this some, some information that can be revealed to the audience as a cl climactic showdown? Not, not until their safety is confirmed. Huh? The safety of the acolyte. Light, huh? She was just talking about Maya. Why? Okay. Iris, look me in the eye and tell me the truth. Did you not see the psychic? No, no, no. I'm gonna have to ask this again because I'm starting to get my little, I'm gonna say like little seeds of doubt are starting to spray. So let's 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 put some weed killer on it, shall we? Did you kill? Elise Donim. Yes or no? You're a really bad defense attorney. SHUT no UP! No matter who or what may come, I could never take a life. Okay. No psycho locks. Alright. Very well. It is my job to get to the truth. You'll discover this for yourself soon enough. Hmm. Oh, gee, I will. I can't tell you about that yet. Oh, God. I really should have made Wright do this, but if I made Wright do this, they start fucking making out, and then, you know, I'd be cheated on. I'd be cocked by this fucking harlot. <laughs> Gert will now reconvene. We're back. Yeah, no, what, what, what was he talking about? What? Miss Von Karma, where is the witness? During the break, a man was detained for suspicious behavior in the gallery. Oh, God damn it. Suspicious behavior. He was sketching something very intensely. Dare I ask what the witness was sketching when he was detained? Your Honor, are you aware of the furry community? Oh no. Oh Jesus. <laughs> he drew a terrifying woman armed with a demonic face and a vicious whip. Shut the fuck up. I can only presume that it <laughs> Anyway, it is time to drag this pathetic excuse for an artist before the call. Loris the meme, I hope you're ready. I mean, you cut out that last part, but get in here. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> get, get, get your sorry ass in here. It would seem that Whip is going to see plenty more use today, and frankly, I am not objecting to that. I hope. You know, just just let me know if I ever cut out for stuff, and I'll repeat yeah. it real fast. Oh! Your sketch is in contempt of this court. Hey! I was just our Discord reader. Oh! 
shut the fuck up. You tried to run away from the bailiff who was trying to hand you your subpoena, correct? Look, I'm nothing but a fledgling artist training out in the mountains! I'm only down here in the city because I ran out of green paint! Well, to use the technical term for the color of Iridian. I'll kill you. Larry. Please do. Please fucking do. I'm dropping. This isn't an art store. Now, is it? I know I'm going to your eye, okay? I know what I'm doing! Look, art is all about working in the fields, isn't it? Working in the fields. I don't see no fucking crops. I presume you wanted to say field work. I mean, I suppose there are a couple of fruits. Oh, that's it! Thanks, buddy! Don't. No. No. Kind of sad that I was able to understand his mangled train wreck of a sentence. Hold on, oh, I see if I I just happened to stop in here and found a wonderful new model. <sighs> so see? Okay. I got nothing to do with the trial! At all! I expect all your faces to be red when you realize this mistake. Bright red! Or to use the technical term, Crimson Lake. Ow! 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 Stop your pathetic babbling and testify like a man. Refrain from whipping me, Miss Von Karma. Cross whipping is as bad as cross checking. Whip him. I don't care about him. Fucking destroy him. Witness, it was all your fault. Testify now! Oh, this is too much for me, dude. I should get the new vid. Everybody the leather hates on this Larry. Is running it, it, it justifiably so. Larry is fucking stupid. I was at the lodge out in the mountains looking up in the stars that night. I walked to the bridge a number of times, but I didn't see a snowmobile. I didn't see anyone at the bridge that night either. The girl I was waiting for didn't show up. My teacher died on me. I'm all alone now. Aren't I, Edgy? Don't fucking talk. To me. Oh, oh, your teacher died. My dad is dead. Get over it. My dad's dead too. Like, fucking get over you're it. You're not special. Not special, Nobody Larry. Cares. Not special. Who fucking cares? Just look at how we turned out. Oh my god, I'm teaming up with Francisca. This is weird. Witness, please refrain from talking directly to the lawyers during your testimony. I'm just a nobody. Nothing but a small, worthless man, aren't I? Yes. No cross examination needed for that one. Yeah, no, no objection to your honor. And why wasn't I asked for my name of occupation or anything else? Because we uh, we, we don't care. No, I was a bit impatient. Mr. Edgeworth, this man seems to have a quite a severe inferiority complex. He is a sub, Your Honor. Uh, he's recently been the cause of numerous incidents. I want this man dead. I think he's finally realized for himself just how much of a nuisance he has been to other people. I like the easy word. Burden. Yeah, that's right! Hopefully. I'm behind everything, every case! Watch what? out, okay? Just touching me will make you eternally unhappy! The missy stuff of him. Well then, let us proceed with the cross-examination. With, uh, with no touching, thank you. We can delve into other details at a later time. Alright, let's tear this motherfucker apart. Void's gone, so... Crow, no, you wanna no. you wanna play uh, Phoenix Wright? I'm chaotic here. What do you mean? Are chaotic? You wanna play Phoenix Wright? <laughs> chaotic, bestie. Chaotic. Yeah, I gotta turn you up a little. He's, he's, yeah, he's down. really quiet. Oh, chaotic, bestie. I won't be able to hear him. So Bruh. I can't. Hold on one second. Oh, okay. I can hear you a little bit there. The everyone, this is chaotic. Chaotic's uh, Dog's he's a, a guy. Dog. Yeah, he's the one dog. My he's he's one of the bull. Functioning properly, I guess. Okay. Um. So I wasn't here for the whole testimony. Um, okay. Hang on, let me just scroll through it real quick. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's only like four things. It seems okay. he's going to claim to have nothing to do with this to the end. I don't want this guy to cost us any more time. I can just slice through his obvious contradictions and keep things moving along. I have a stream to get through, Larry! Alright. He has a man to kiss at home, and I have a woman. Uh, okay. They are very busy people. So he said he didn't see a snowmobile. He didn't, he see... didn't see a snowmobile. He didn't see he didn't anyone. See he didn't see a soul. 
He must have seen someone. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Must yeah, he saw been. something. I guess. Uh, 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 yeah. mm. Alright, press. Mm -hmm. Alright. HOLD IT! You didn't meet... anyone. That's right, cause I got nothing to do with this! And I'm just here to buy some Viridian paint, okay? Come on, I expect to see those Crimson Lake faces now! Mr. Edgeworth, this witness, <sighs> I don't much care for him. It would appear that simply pressing him isn't gonna be enough, Mr. Edgeworth. Ah, uh, yeah, indeed. I see. God, oh, Jesus, merciful Christ, Savior Almighty. So, what evidence do we have to present? Um... I mean, think about like what happened on the night of the murder. Like someone had to. Oh, you can you can also inspect the uh, the letter that was in the uh, that was in the main hall. I think. Yeah, it's not really caught up. There's a there's a couple of things that are like inspectable. To look through. Yeah. No. Uh... I have been, like, very much just sitting in the back for these, uh, so I'm not very, <clears throat> all right, not very strong. Think about what, all right, think about what happened on the night of the murder, so, like, did Larry talk to anyone? Not, not that I can think of, no. Would uh, you like to phone a friend? Yeah, sure, why not? All right, I'm not gonna do the bit. Uh, hey, look, it's me. I'm Trent. I'm actually here this time. What do you want to know? Whoa! Holy shit, he's right there in the courtroom. Yeah, it's me. What do you want to know, Mr. Edgeworth? Uh, did Larry talk to anyone? Oh yeah, he did. He talked to fucking Phoenix Wright before he took a tumble to his death. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Objection! Yeah, yeah, Larry Butts. I can understand why you might want to throw your old life away because you're pathetic and stupid and insolent little boy. A loser. You're pretty pathetic and you cause all sorts of trouble. Oh, I'm sorry. But having realized just how much of a nuisance you've been, that could be considered a step in the right direction. Edgy, are you. Are you trying to console me? It certainly no. doesn't sound that way to me. I'm not. I'm, I'm really not. I, I hate you. However, I cannot forgive you for simply turning away from the incidents you create. Oh, you're totally pitting this on me. Now then, let us talk about the night of the murder. Sister Bikini, after seeing the murder take place, asked Phoenix Wright, my husband, to report it. Thus, he headed for the public phone by the bridge. There, he happened to cross a certain nefarious individual. You, Larry Butts! Oh, that's right, me in the flesh! Is okay. he Listen carefully, witness. It doesn't matter if you change your name. So long as you remain pretty pathetic, you will continue to cause these incidents. That reality will not change, you fucking stupid idiot. Larry, what you need to change is your inner self. But for now, what you saw that night, testifying truthfully about this one issue is all I need from you. Edgy, I, I think I've finally woken up. Oh no. Well, I guess I could still be sleeping. But anyway, I'll do it. I'll what? testify. What is he talking about? I don't know. I don't know. Is oh, he... I'm not sure this will go especially well. Oh my fucking test. god, witness! Oh Jesus, merciful savior! What did you see on the night of the murder? Just fucking talk already! 
I think we need a drug test for the witness. I think we need a fucking <laughs> bat for the witness so I can whack him on the head with it. Mm, this would be good. I'm a dish jacket around 9, so it would have been around 10.30 p.m. I was lying under my bedding when a white flash almost blinded me. I looked out the window, and Dusky Bridge was on fire. There's still some thunder, but I went right away to check it out. That's when I ran to Nick. Mmm. You certainly <laughs> saw quite a lot, didn't you? So, what happened to the bridge after it caught on fire? It was like me after a three-day stint class chasing a girl. It totally burned out! Like, almost totally gone. I've been trying to cross the burning remains while it's what caused Nick to fall. What did you say? Oh, oh, no. Don't worry. It's nothing life-threatening. He just caught a cold. It was really... Oh, boo. I mean, he gave me a fucking heart attack, you stupid asshole, but no. Oh. no. Right. I would have cracked a smile if I did. I never know with that man if he should be called lucky or unlucky. Believe me, it is far more the latter than it is the former. Now, Mr. Edgeworth, please commence your cross-examination. Why didn't you tell me this? Oh, dear. I would have been elated. Well, sorry for disappointing you. Oh, Francisca, my fucking husband's dead. Yes, it would have been great news. All right. My bedding, my um, bedding. I was lying to me. Next one. Okay, that checks out. Still some thunder. Next one. Alright, Okay, go back to the first one. Because everything else is like, you know. Pretty sound. Uh, the only thing that I can think of was timing. Well, I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with the timing. I want to just press because it seems like there's yeah, not sure. a. Yeah, alright. Hold it! What did you do out there in the cold for an hour and a half? Well, if you really must know, I was busy being excited, I guess. No, 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 I don't like where this is going, I don't like where this is going, I don't, dare I even ask? She I said was the meantime time is 10 p.m., right? But I couldn't no. wait, and I thought she might come early, too. Well, it appears... Yes, yes, somebody's coming early, but it's not her. Well, it appears she didn't come at all in the end. <laughs> because they never arranged to meet in the first place, did they? Shut up! Picking my fond memories apart! Anyway, I was getting a little worried. I thought maybe Iris had lost her way. So every 20 minutes or so, I went down to the bridge. I didn't see anything particularly suspicious. I didn't have anything else to do, so I went back to the shack to wait for her. You're agreeable. Okay, so, like, 100%, uh, like, he definitely saw the lightning. Yeah. I just want to keep pressing until we, like, get one of the new yeah, savings sure. out. All right. HOLD IT! This light was, of course... Lightning? Like... KRAPOW! Like a slap from Naomi, honestly! A big bada boom! Mm -hmm. Or a little like that. Oh, that's more like a punch from Miranda! Witness, did you actually see the lightning hit the bridge? Well, I was a bit startled by the flash of light, so... Okay, okay no new statement. HOLD IT! Seeing that, what did you do? What do you think? I was burned up as well from the fire in my heart! And that's why you went to look at the bridge? Well, to be honest, uh... It was crazy cold, so at first I thought, forget it, I'm not leaving my covers. But pretty much uh, stopped snowing, so I, uh, I don't know, I changed my mind! I wish you got hit with them, yeah. I'm not sure I Inside. care for the forget it attitude you had at first, witness. Yeah, no new statements still. Alright. HOLD IT! You said right away, but exactly how long after the strike was that? 
A solid 30 minutes. Oh, lightning fell and then the bridge caught on fire. Maybe around five minutes. I mean, I suddenly thought, gotta go check this out. How far is this small shack where you were from the bridge? Good enough. Good enough. Hold on. Well, it pretty much stopped snowing. I guess about a five minute walk. And how did Dusky Bridge look when you got there? Like I'd recovered a piece of my childhood. What? I mean, not even the bonfires kids make during school camping trips or can compare. What the fuck? What? Okay. What? All right, here we go. Here's what we need to do. So, not right Why now. Didn't right. You call anyone? Nah, that is a good question. Why didn't you call anyone? Why didn't you call anyone? Larry, no, no. Let me ask you one thing. Oh, what is it, Edgy? What's with a serious face? Why didn't you call anyone? Huh? What do you mean? Like... <sighs> Normally, when faced with a towering inferno, one would try and tell someone. There is a public phone right by Dusky Bridge, correct? Well, he is an idiot. Well, of course I thought of doing that! So then... Let's hear why you fucking didn't. Oh! Oh, yeah, okay! Reason, Mom, my reason. It isn't that I didn't try to tell anyone, it's just I didn't have time to, okay? Mm -hmm. I rented the bridge and Nick showed up less than a minute later! Mm, okay, this is the new statement. This is the new statement. I mean, is I guess that's true. there any time related evidence? Do we have a time for when he jumped off the bridge? Uh, like, Nick saw the like the result of the murder and then immediately ran to the bridge, right? Yes. Okay. I don't think there would be any time issues. Okay, lightning. Struck. Uh, hold on. Um, the lightning struck Dusky Bridge at ten forty-five. When did he say? I need, yeah, I need the time to when he said shit. Okay, let's go back to the first statement. So it would have been around... I was lying... In the, uh, like 10.30? I mean, it's a, it's a little bit of a... There's like a 10 minute gap, though. Yeah, where he could have called someone. So, present the weather data? Yeah. Man, right. we fucking love this weather data. OBJECTION! Your very existence being a contradiction, I'm not sure if you can grasp this or not. What the hey, Edgy? You make me sound like I'm sort of sort of alien! But your testimony is conclusively contradictory. The problem here is time. I'll never be the best timekeeper, you know. Three minutes after Billy leaves on foot, you follow him on your bicycle. How long does it take for you to catch up with him? Terrible at those. This is much more simple. You saw the lightning strike Dusky Bridge, and immediately went to see what had happened. Is this correct? Oh yeah, well I wasted about five minutes first, but more or less. I have the weather data from the night of the murder here. According to this, the lightning fell at 10.45pm. Pretty big. You say it takes less than five minutes from the shack to Dusky Bridge. And you probably got there at around 11 p.m. Well, that all sounds about right, I guess. And then Nick showed up and did his fallen act. <laughs> it's one way to word it. That is impossible. What do you mean? 11 p.m. is when the murder occurred in Hazakura Temple. Thus, Wright was still there in the courtyard. There is no way that Larry could have encountered him at Dusty Bridge at that time! <laughs> oh! Excuse me! I have an objection! You, you do? Edgy! I just want to say this! I'm not Larry! I'm Laurie Stockton! It has not been proven that the murder occurred at 11 pm. The sister only said around 11. In which case, it could have been earlier than that. Watch your footing there, Miss Francisca Von Karma. The slope ahead is slippery! 
I can say for the last names. For there is still no way that Riot could have been at Jusky Bridge at 11 p.m. Why not? It is clearly written here in the weather, da the weather data report. It took around <laughs> 30 minutes for the bridge to burn out. Therefore, the bridge must have been burning until at least 11.15 p.m. Which, well, uh, which means what exactly? Wright did not see the bridge when it was being consumed by the flames that night. In fact, he did not arrive at the scene until... After the flames had died down! Larry! You arrived at the bridge at 11 p.m. But Wright did not make it there until at least 11.15. I suggest you to stop hiding things and just... Tell us the whole truth! Now then, what happened during these missing 15 minutes? Oh, oh, I, I feel like I just got brutally woken up by a toilet splash back. I guess I was slipping after all! Oh, pinch me! Order, order. Oh, why me? So there was a missing 15 minutes prior to meeting Phoenix Vine. I hardly see that as much of a problem. Yeah, not much of a problem at all! Really? The bridge is burning before your eyes, and there is a phone right next to it. Why then did you not report the accident? Yeah, witness, why didn't you? Were you there simply to watch the bridge burn? And therein lies the problem. For even after the bridge had burnt out, he was still there. Staring into space, this witness didn't even attempt to fulfill his civic duty! That's what it sounds like. Ah, but this is Larry we're talking about. And even he is incapable of being so stupid. <laughs> Which means there has to be a reason for his inaction! Simple, he's a fucking coward. Edgy, I think it's about time I got serious with you, dude. Just as I thought been playing with us all this time. Listen, I'm... I'm gonna tell you everything. Are you sure you want to hear it all? My God. Y yes, and now I'm actually kind of afraid for some reason. What? I may really say it this time. I can help! It's insane. Very well. Fuck. I have a terribly bad feeling about this. However... Let's have the witness finally give us the whole truth. Now, for this 15 minute gap, what were you doing, witness? No, I was fucking off in the forest. Oh. The missing 15 minutes. I'm a dotem. I'm an artist. What do you think I was doing? Sketching in front of the bridge. I was whipped up into a frenzy of art. The shock and awe that I was feeling, I transferred it all directly onto the page. Before I realized oh, no. it. The flames has gone out, and then he came running up. I mean, mm. a 15-minute sketch is not that bad. Pretty hey, good. Those artists can be strange folk. That's right! I'm willing to sacrifice everything in order to draw the perfect sketch! Including the truth from the sound of it. Mr. Edgeworth, has this removed the last of your doubts? Not at all, Your Honor. One very large doubt still remains. And what would that be? This is a surprisingly believable story, especially considering the source. So why did he think he needed to hide it from us until now? I intend to drag the reason out of him. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. You'll regret this, Edgy. Oh, why, did, why is he being so evil? Alright. Why? Mm -hmm. So I think this might be another press thing, so we didn't get a lot of uh, statements. Well, we don't need to press the first one. To... Okay. Press this one? Yeah. Alright. HOLD IT! Sketching the burning bridge. The burned bridge and everything that came with it! Wh what? C came with it? You wanna hear this from my lips, do you, Edgy? You'll regret this! Your mind is- oh! Enough. Just take that ridiculous sketch of yours out already, weakness. What are you talking about? I don't know what you mean! I'm going to kill you with my bare hand. 
and I am going to watch it all and do nothing to stop it. That does indeed appear to be the fastest solution. I'll leave it to you, Mr. Edgeworth. Oh, what should I do? I have a terrible feeling the instant this sketch is revealed. The entire world may be changed by what is depicted there. Watch, it's going to be the, the defendant, and she is throwing away the murder weapon into the lake. <laughs> is it is the sketch, yes. In for a penny! Larry! In for a penny. I wonder if you could show us your sketch. Oh, thank you. Well, well, even I couldn't imagine it turned out like this. Imagine what? That Lori Stodem's debut would take place here, today, like this. <laughs> Show it now. Okay, okay. Still yourselves. This is the world of Lori Stodem! What the fuck is that? You know, I, I take this back. This is a child's one game on the Switch. Ah. Uh, um well, uh um so this this is Dusky Bridge, correct? Quite a large bridge, isn't it? Uh, your response was fun, Karma? Yes, well uh, it, it is a better drunk than I expected. Is it? Is it? I showed the red blue those flames in. I really did. I mean, yeah, I'm sure you did. <laughs> this is going to get ugly. I, I, no one I, has the courage to bring it up. It seems this mysterious flying object, Larry. It is a woman. Well, what is it? The burning bridge is fine. But I think it is very nice. What is what is that unfortunate looking figure? I mean, oh, I mean, oh, you, look, you spotted look, that? Look, I, I, I thought you might. However much I might want to ignore it, I can't. It's Iris, of course. Iris. What? She better care of herself. We have to plan it for our future, you know. What would have happened to her if she had injured herself flying like that? I. I. I, 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 I Larry, please answer this next question honestly. Okay. Are you really claiming to have seen this? Are you claiming to have seen the silhouette of the defendant flying over a bridge that was engulfed in flames? Yep, that's what I saw. That's why I drew it. I'm an artist, a real artist. Oh! You hi, the girl. She's really high up in the picture. Also, are you smoking weed? Because that is really ridiculous. I don't. I am telling you, we need a drug test on the on the weed. Why me? What was what was that for, dude? This is all a bad dream. I wish it was. I wish it was. I was hitting you on the cheek to test that theory. Please whip your own cheek from now on if you wish to test your wild theories. It's very difficult, though. Anyway, no court of law will ever acknowledge that p people can fly. Oh, um, actually, there is some precedent for this. If you're about to bring up the case I think you are, I'm not going. I'm stopping you right there. She was flying pretty high, my sweet Iris. You say the word angel next to she was about 30 feet above the bridge, at least. It was really something to see. <laughs> this has to be some kind of mistake. This has to be a joke. This has to be a fucking joke. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, please bring the witness back down to Earth. But what? what? Me? The witness is your friend, is he not? No. <laughs> Accessory to foolishness, my husband. Let us get back to the cross-examination. By force, if necessary. I'm going Mr. Edgeworth, to. I expect you to expose the obvious contradiction here. Uh, yes, Your Honor. I'm going to take a nap while you do. Looks like I've got another reason to remember this moron. I'm going to go some... Well, what would you think about the view piece? Get that thing away from me! Well, I think it's actually very impressive if he's using pastel. Very good. Look at this. Look, I'm fucking angry. I'm Canadian. I'm not supposed to be yelling. This is out of character. 
Now hurry up across the dam and him. Get him out of here, please. It's so cool. All right, this is the new statement. Oh, I remember. Chaotic. Okay, so first of all, there wouldn't be a hood. No. No, there wouldn't. You know. Wait, what? Wait, 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 hold on. Uh, for context, don't, don't, don't unmute me if I'm server muted. I do that by myself. All right. Yeah. Uh, present the hood. Yeah. Objection. Objection. Larry, what did you really see that night? Not that I particularly care. In your position, that's just being irresponsible. I, I drew exactly what I saw. I'll give you a whole dollar that it's the truth! Oh, if that is truly the case, then there is one thing we can say for certain. And what might that be? That the person who flew over the bridge could not have been the defendant, Iris. What, what, what do you mean? I don't understand! Oh! A foolhardy folly of a foolish statement by an equally foolishly foolhardy fool. Oh, I only messed up one time. How exactly can you make this claim? Tell us, Larry. According to this picture, the individual whom you say was sawing were wearing, uh, was wearing a hood. Correct? Of course she was! I run down shack is quite away from the bridge! The hood is what told me that this floating angel was my Iris! The hood is my darling you. Iris! And Iris is my darling hood! Wow! See, I told you. It seems there are bigger fools in this world. Than the one in the defense's bench. You have no fucking idea. <laughs> Larry, there's something you need to be made aware of. On the night of the murder, Iris wasn't wearing her hood. She had given it to Wright as a gift. Albeit, I'm still very upset about it, but she did. Are you going to change your story now? Perhaps suggest it was Wright who took flight? And a magical mm -hmm. monkey gave way and granted us three it, wishes! It does rhyme, it must be true. Oh, what are you talking about, dude? I think you understand what I mean just fine. Why? Why did Nick have Iris's hood? Oh, no. What? No, 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 Larry, don't you do this! No. Edgy, what's going on with Iris and Nick? Nothing! Why you, Nick, you dog? The I'm going to brutally brutally. slam my head against a fucking brick wall until it bleeds. I mean, I... even he sees the edge of it. No, no, I'm no, I'm no, no. It's pretty obvious that while you were away in Europe. No, 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 no. It seems I... like your boyfriend has eloped. I do believe that this unbelievably mysterious sketch is destined to disappear, discredited, and discarded, straight into the garbage. What is it now, witness? Please Feels just like see fuck off. I've been waiting 25 years for this very day to come! <laughs> and she, today's the day I get to completely stupefy you! What? In God's glorious name, what? What is the meaning of your outburst, witness? I hate to have to do this, but I have some definitive evidence. No, she he said it in red, it must be true. Definitive. The evidence? Iris did indeed come flying over the burning bridge. And I, Lori Stodham, shall prove it! Oh my god, I'm oh, I no. didn't expect to oh ask this god. again. But we shall be needing your testimony once again, as much as I really don't want to oh, fucking no. hear it. Tell us anything you know concerning the defendant as depicted in this sketch. And show us your evidence that this nightmare was actually a reality. Okay, I hope you're ready, Edgy. Cause I'm gonna feed you a whooping servant of pain! No, oh, you've already done enough. You've been serving us a whopping serving of pain this whole time. Trust me. 
fucking hate you, Larry. I hate you. you I reached cookie. Husky Bridge. She was already gone. I was so worried. So I practically searched all over for her. That led me to finding a beautiful crystal sphere, half buried in the snow. I'm oh, sure that Iris shit. was simply wearing a spare hood. After all, no one else could have lost a crystal sphere that night. Uh-oh. A crystal sphere. This one! Pretty, isn't it? Find your keepers! Bloody. It looks like a bowling ball. Is that sphere? Where did you find it? Oh, I'll be see around around here somewhere. Looks about right. And it was half buried in the snow. It pretty much stopped snow by then. There are still some falling as I walk to the bridge. The court accepts this crystal sphere. No, That's we're gonna okay. look into it. I want it back afterward. There's something on it. Hmm? Oh my. It's blood. What? Blood? Very? Have you been concealing evidence? That could be crucial. Are you fucking mental? You ready, Edgy? By tomorrow morning, you'll be calling me Master Larry! I don't yeah, think I don't any like of the them sound of that. No one's gonna push me around anymore! No I'm going to push you off the fucking bridge, Larry! Straight down into the fucking bedrock! I love Minecraft. Did you didn't you want to be called Laurie Stoneham only a few minutes ago? I'm gonna fucking kill him. I am going to murder him! He will be the next victim of Dusky Bridge. He will be the one that is found dead in this bloody temple. No, you you know this is true. Alright. So chaotic, uh Yeah, chaotic. <laughs> what are we what are we gonna do? He was searching for her and also sketching the bridge. Press? Yeah. Hold it. Hold it! So you searched all over for her. She was flying pretty high, you know. I thought maybe she'd slipped on her landing and got hurt. It was more than possible. Also, when I headed out of the shack the first time, I was snacking on a banana. I was pretty sure I threw the peel away somewhere around there, so, you know. Can one guy really be this stupid? Can, Apparently. Is, is, is it even scientifically possible? So, did you find any signs of a so-called landing? Hmm. I don't really remember. I kept on falling over myself and kind of lost it for a while there. You fell over yourself? Yeah, the snow was deep and there was even a banana peel out there. Oh my fucking god. Oh. Nope, well, they're stupid, and then there's Larry Butts. He is the bottom oh, of the cool. fucking barrel, right oh, on the below. The short of it is that you didn't find any signs of her uh, landing, correct? And what happened next? Okay. So it's obviously the, the, the contradiction has to, like, it has to revolve something around this, like, Fear. So, so we just present fear, I mean, yeah, let's just go with this. Present it? Yeah. Are you sure? Alright, I'll save first. Gotta you know, you fucked up when Trent gotta save the game before it. <laughs> you absolutely sure, though? Because, yeah. Alright. OBJECTION! This evidence clearly reveals the contradiction in the statement, Your Honor. Unfortunately, I'm afraid it can't accept that. Well done, Your Honor. Uh, what? What did I do? I was only testing you just now. Well, then why don't you try testing this penalty too, you fucking hoser? Well, alright. Okay. That's why we have save files, oh. ladies and gentlemen. That never happened. <laughs> alright. What well, never happened? It's not the spirit. We should I... present something here, definitely. I might have some... Hmm. 
I'm pretty cool. Here, like next to the bridge. Oh. I hate scared, her like, making. Hold on there. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait yeah. a minute. Wait a minute. So... That thing's orple. As they say, Bingo hmm. was his name. Oh. Objection. No. It's... Wait. Is that the right one? Oh, damn, yeah, it's either this or the staff. Hello, Mary. Jay. Oh, you're you're in for it, uh, Jay. Jay I can't cannot. Hear us. Oh, no, right. Jay can't hear. Us. Jay. Larry. That night, there was someone, someone who lost a crystal sphere. Oh, I got about to lose my mind. Oh, there, there was. Who? Oh, who was a stupid idiot? Miss Elise Donham. The mentor Whoa. to a stupid idiot! The victim? I have a photo of her here. Very that is good. And on the end of her staff, you can see a familiar looking crystal sphere. She's a Hey! That's my photograph! Give it back! Yeah. Oh, wait, oh, oh, oh. A crystal sphere like that is quite easy to find. I have. One just like it on my brooch. No, you fucking don't. They look nothing alike. Z fuck up. In any case, pl please take a look at this. This is the victim's staff found at the scene of the crime. Oh, oh, the crystal sphere! It's gone. It went poof. What? 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 Just what does this mean? What does this mean? If anyone jumped or flew across the bridge that night, it certainly was not Iris. I mean, after all, she was not wearing her hood. More importantly, the crystal sphere found at the landing site was not hers either. That means the one who flew and dropped the sphere was the victim, Miss Elise Dodum. Objection. That's stupid. A fool alongside another fool on a fool's errand to reach a foolish conclusion. First of all, this sketch, which I prefer to call a scribble, is ridiculous. People cannot fly, thus it is rejected. Oh, you can't do that! I saw it with my total eyes! Shut up. Anyway, and this crystal sphere. This is not. This is nothing more than a red hat. You honestly believe that? Give it some thought, and I'm sure you'll realize it as well, Edward. At least the name was in her. You cut out again. Yeah, we should. At least the name was in her room on the night of. There was no reason for her to go to Dusky Bridge. Therefore. This sphere cannot be related to this case. That is all. Objection! Miss Francisca von Karma. The only people who will accept that explanation are scatterbrains and clowns. Oh, what a surprise. Why are you pointing at me, dude? You fucking know why. The victim's crystal sphere was found near the bridge on the night of her murder. Yet you expect us to believe that has nothing to do with the case. Objection! The crystal sphere, it was probably thrown away at the bridge after the murder. After the murder? There is blood on the crystal sphere, isn't there? This naturally suggests that it was thrown away after the murder took place. The killer placed it there to throw the investigation off the scene. Which is the exact same reason that he drew that ridiculous sketch. What? What do you mean? I'M THE KILLER?! Yes, no, it's, it's him, Your Honor. Honor. It's him, it's him. He is the real killer. Alright, well, he all right. he's closed. The... Take him away. The... No, no! All joking aside... Just when this crystal... My apologies. Just when did this crystal sphere appear near the foot of the bridge? 
unless this can be proven in some way, I refuse to believe this is related to the case. Crow? What? Francisco? Von Kogler? Yeah, you, we, yeah. You, we got a lot to go over. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah it's me. Yeah, Edgeworth is the yeah, big character. Had a night. Yeah. Well, you're about we to have a bigger it. night. Cause we all had the night. This so case this is fucking witness, whack. Man. This case is fucking whack, dude. She makes a valid point. There's no oh, evidence that at least Odin <laughs> left Hazakir a temple that night. Wow. However, that if somehow this crystal sphere can be proven to have been dropped before the victim was killed, then this case is going to be transformed into something else entirely. Your response, Mr. Edgeworth. I want your final opinion on this disposition of this crystal sphere. If it is not related to the case, then this witness who you called will have been nothing more than a monumental waste of time. <laughs> oh no! If precisely. Prepare yourself for some very appropriate punishment, Miles oh. Edgeworth. <laughs> oh. Oh God! Can I prove it? Can I prove that the crystal sphere was dropped before the murder took place? In for a penny. Mm. Yes, I can. In for a pound. Can I prove it? That isn't the issue. Simply prove it. That is the only option. That's what he do, my love. You're gay. Oh my god, That's the, way, you, that's you, the you, way my you, Phoenix Wright would do this. I'm gonna do it just like him. Your you're Honor, so gay. allow me to prove something to you. I will prove that this crystal sphere is a vital link to solving this case. You will what? You will? Is that look in your eyes? If you remind me of Phoenix Wright when he is in the when he is cornered. Oh, I know that look all too well. <laughs> that should come as no <laughs> surprise. Because right now I am Phoenix Wright and I am indeed fucked. <laughs> so I'm not telling him <laughs> that. <laughs> I order you to present your evidence, Mr. Edgeworth. Evidence that proves that the crystal sphere was indeed dropped before the murder. Your Honor, this woman's Jordans are fake. All right, so the crystal sphere was dropped before the murder. What are we thinking? I don't know. Maybe it's the piece of evidence you're looking at. <laughs> Who knows? I mean, are you sure? I can't. No, save. no, no. I can't say. I can't say. Uh oh. Shit. Uh. Yeah, let, let chaotic do it because I actually have to go pee. So. <laughs> We're looking for evidence that the crystal spear was dropped before the murder. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This one's actually kind of easy when you think about it, isn't it? Because if it was. It has blood on it. Yeah, it has blood on it, doesn't it? Take that! This crystal spear. It was half buried in the snow, correct? That's right! If I didn't stop snowing, then it would have been game over! Snow would have totally covered it! <laughs> That's all I needed to hear from you, Larry. You may now shut up and not say another word for the rest of this fucking trial. Your testimony makes one thing quite clear. Yeah, what? When the crystal, <laughs> sphere... Yeah. When the crystal sphere was dropped, it was snowing, even if it was ever so slightly. S snowing? On the other hand, let us look at the scene of the murder. As proven earlier today, there is no snow on the victim's body. Ah! Therefore, the crystal sphere must have been dropped before the murder! B what? Order! 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 Probably could have been more shrieky on that one then. Uh, Alright, fine. Order! How's that? Oh, no, 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 I'm in my, I'm in my. Oh. Sorry. On the night of the murder, the victim did indeed go to Dusky Bridge. And there, oh, something occurred that caused the staff's crystal sphere to come loose. What? What could that have been? <laughs> this sphere. There is some blood on it, isn't there? <laughs> allow allow yeah, me yeah. to raise a certain possibility at this junction. The real crime scene was near the foot of Dusky Bridge. Oh my god, near the foot of Dusky Bridge? Objection! The murder didn't take place in the Hazakura Temple Courtyard. 
Only a fool would suggest such a foolish piece of absolute foolishness. Just who is the fool? And which part is so foolish, Miss Von Karma? I'm going to kill you. Have you been paying any attention this whole time, Miles? Ed the sister saw everything. She saw the victim being killed by the defendant in the other courtyard. OBJECTION! <laughs> That's not exactly true now, is it? To put it more precisely, what she saw was... The murder weapon being removed from the victim's body. That's the same thing! No, it isn't! Yes, it is! No, it isn't! You said it yourself. You said Simple. it yourself. The innocent blood is actually lost at the moment of a blade insertion. If you want to talk about when the most blood would be lost from the body, then that would be when the blade is removed. I am Francisca Von Karma. I have okay. such a big superiority like complex. If that <laughs> sounds like that. He sounds what? exactly like that. If that statement is the truth, then Dusky Bridge could very easily be the scene of the murder. The murder weapon was not removed. Thus, there was no bleeding. Objection. You are forgetting one vital thing, Miles Edgeworth. At least Nim's body was found in the Hazako Temple. On foot, it takes 15 minutes to travel from Dusky Bridge to Hazako Temple. You mean to suggest someone carried the body all that way? I've made it this far. The only place to take this is to the end. I just need to prove that my version of the events is also perfectly plausible. Now, if the defense is ready, the court would like to have an explanation. Please show us the method by which the victim's body was carried to Hazakura Temple. Well... I can only think it'd be one thing, right? What? Not that. It's, it's obviously by airdrop, Trent. <laughs> no. It's uh, by the snowmobile! Take that! So On that snowy night... There is one way that bo that a body could have been moved. This snowmobile. Uh. Oh. As we know, the snowmobile was used that night. It was explained as having been used to dispose of the murder weapon. But it also could have been used to carry a body! Order! Mm. Order! Order! This... This is completely unacceptable, Miles Edgeworth. You dug yourself into your own grave. Oh, what do you mean? The only one who could have used the snowmobile was the defendant. You dumb bitch, she's the one who could have- Sorry, a goblin there. She's the <laughs> one who could have moved the body. Doesn't that fit there in your coffin? <laughs> yeah, kind of. You're too late, Francisca Von Karma. And in fact, the defense has proven something else entirely. We have shown that this case requires further investigation. B what? Where was the victim, Elise Donim, really killed? If a body was moved, whatever for? And finally... Just what does this fucking stupid drawing mean? Do you even need to think about that? Such a creature! You <laughs> could never see the truth, let alone describe it. OBJECTION! This witness certainly sits on one of the lowest possible branches of humanity, don't get me wrong, Might man. will be an ape. However, he would never utter a lie that could hurt a girl with whom he's enamored. Maybe not purposely. He drew this, so this is something that actually happened. You are a fool. The defense stands firm on this point. Uh, actually, thank you. Shut up! No, I don't want to hear anything about you. I told you to be quiet. Stop ah, crying. Well, it doesn't work. That settles it then. I have gone insane. I'm going to go prescribe myself some medication and go to the mental hospital immediately. Also, I cannot give a verdict under these circumstances. <laughs> yeah, hop and puff all you want, my old man. Right. My love, I seem to have fulfilled my part in this. It is just as I thought. Francisca Von Karma, you make a wonderful partner. Adrian Andrews is a lucky woman. <laughs> e excuse me? 
There was one reason and one alone for me being here. To expose the darkness lurking in this case. And then, pass it on to Wright! And I'm never being the main character ever again! Never! And so the miles are worth investigations, that is. Oh, <laughs> see you all then. Really? That's what this is all about? You could have just told me that from the very beginning. Oh, you're no wonderful. No one for all the day! Ouch! Miles Edgeworth. Yeah. I don't care about what you were here to do. This was my chance to finally grind you under my heel. Oh, a shame that your chance seems to have slipped you by. <laughs> what a shame! This is all your fault. Yes, it's entirely his fault. Keep Such a terrible witness. You are an affront to all the legal system stands oh, for. Oh, oh, oh no! And the man's satisfaction. Oh no, Larry Butt is dead. Oh no. I kind of thought I would have gone on a little longer though. Oh, what a shame. I'm crying. I'm crying and shaking. Anyway, I cannot <laughs> believe that the witness's testimony relates to an actual event. However... There has to be some sort of answer for the questions it raises. Have his words here today been the truth or lies? Next time we gather in this courtroom, those are the matters that shall be addressed. I am counting on thorough investigations by both the defense and the prosecution. My voice is hoarse. And with this, the rest is up to you. Right. I believe in you. Do you have that fruity little look on your face? Stop being so happy. <laughs> Court is now adjourned. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you both.